Good morning, guys. Uh, I just finished a uh, workout and I decided to come sit on the beach for a little bit and just relax and the water is beautiful. There's nobody out here. There's a couple people down the beach, but um, it's super quiet and it's beautiful. But um, today's video is gonna be about, um, we're gonna tour the island with the golf cart and um, usually that's our uh, form of transportation around the island um it's not very it's not very big it's just basically a strip of a couple miles and then there's a resort at the end um but other than that yeah we might also um do a little boat tour as well on our 251 mako center console so yeah i hope you all guys enjoy and um yeah look at this view Hey guys, uh, welcome back. We wanted to give you all a brief kind of tour of the boat and talk to you a little bit about uh, what Jacob and I did to make it what it looks like right now. Um, it certainly isn't perfect, uh, but it is uh, very, very functional. Uh, we bought this boat um, about five years ago and all it was was just an interior hull. A couple people had tried to fix uh, some soft spots in the deck and unsuccessfully so in the sense that they kind of got in over their heads and so we were able to buy the boat at a pretty good price and as you see it right now is kind of the culmination of three years worth of work um, we did basically in our backyard on the tarps and uh, we did everything from uh, redesigning the the transom uh, to cleaning all the interior foam that was in the factory. We pulled all the floors up, all the decks up, aside from the front casting deck, because that was still in good shape. Um, and we redid everything else. New fuel tank, um, new console, T-top. Um, what? Leaning post, new leaning post. Oh, yep, new leaning post. We did the, um, the cushions ourselves yeah uh, we left this uh, front deck piece um, right here all everything um, beyond this point was um, not there when we got it and so we redid that there are uh, three or four sheets of marine plywood 
um, that we uh, crowned um, at, so water would roll to the edge to either side and then go to um, these two drains right there, go out of the boat between the engines. Well, like I said, it, it's about th three years worth of work for us. And, you know, we did this in, in the backyard underneath tarps, you know, a little bit at a time. Uh, the engines are 2007 E-Tech 150s. Uh, we got these off of a guy up in New Jersey who was repowering a boat. Um, it's on a Cape Horn, right? Cape Horn. Yeah. yeah. So it was on a 25 foot Cape Horn, and uh, he was repowering to 175 Suzuki's. And so we picked both of these motors up with about 550 hours on them. We've got almost 700 hours on them now, and uh, they still run good. We did just have to replace a lower unit, but to get 700 hours out of a lower unit is not bad. Um, Especially yeah. when they, they start on the first time yeah. every single every time. time. Espe like when um, we went down to pick up the boat um, and put it in the water for the first time in a year, it started right up, yeah. no problems. Like I said, we took it out the other day. We made a video of that uh, a few days back and uh, a few weeks back. And literally, uh, we, we put the new lower unit on, put it in the water, turned the keys, and they both fired right up. No unit. Uh, we actually found the guy. So this was a design for the the boat was designed for the Florida Wildlife Commission, and this boat actually lived in Tampa Bay, which is uh, you know a couple hours north of where we are right now. So it patrolled Tampa Bay for its life uh, before they surplused it at a government auction. But what ended up was cool was we found the builder of the boat. So the the old Mako Marine Company uh, got sold eventually to uh, Tracker Boats which you can buy at Bass Pro Shop and Cabela's now. But the, the family, uh, the son who actually was running the production line when this boat went through was a great help because we wanted to do some engineering changes to the boat. We wanted to move the center of gravity a little bit forward on the boat because I wanted to open the cockpit some. And so he helped us kind of figure out the, the dynamics of being able to move the the tank and the console forward to keep the attitude of the boat right so it still came up on plane like it was supposed to. Um, and then of course the Euro transom, which is kind of a, it's it's a little bit different for Makos. The, the new Makos have them, but back then- in Which the is where we got the design from. Yeah. We basically went to a Bass Pro Shop one day and we saw that and we were like, hey, we like that. Yeah. So we took a picture of it and we drew it all on a, basically, um, a, two by three foot piece of paper yep. and um, trace it out and we basically put it up and then we drew a line and we cut it yep. and wished for the best. Uh, but it's been great for us, it runs good. Uh, we were just looking at one of the trip meters and uh, we put over, uh, I think 1300 miles on this boat since uh, we got it back in the water for the first time. But we set the, we set the motors off the transom uh, with some four inch jack plate, permanent jack plates to be able to raise the motors up. You know, the dynamics of uh, running in shallower water is important here in Florida anyway. And so the, the further off the transom you get, the higher the motors can run. And that design has worked well for us as, especially where we bring the boat to now and, and different places along the intercoastal, uh, it can get pretty shallow in some of the spaces. So. Being able to run a little bit skinnier is, is not a bad thing at all when you're out here. So um, we went with a, a brown non-skid. Um, uh, it's been really great. It's soft on your feet. It's cool. It's and it bad. uses rubber, not not sand. It uses rubber, not sand, so it's not abrasive. Um, and it's a product that durable, durability-wise has been great. It hasn't faded. It hasn't chipped. It hasn't peeled. Um, it's really been good. We actually did the painting too. Some of it was good, some of it not. <laughs> uh, but it's held up. You know, three years later, and the paint's still in great shape. Well, we use the bottom paint, bladed with blind paint, and it's been great too. Because it goes up on one trailer, off the trailer, and you know it's held up really well. It keeps us from having to scrub the hole when we get home. But all so the, much. All the grace is down here in Florida. It's amazing what can go on your boat in a week when you're down here in the hot water.